What is up beautiful people of the world? Stephanie Garcia here and this vlog today is a very very special one and it's very private and I'm not sure when I'm gonna actually share it because it's going to be a long journey but pretty much uh, my girlfriend and I we want to have more children and so we are going through that process of insemination. <laughs> So, that process um, is a lot more difficult than we thought it to be. So we have a anonymous donor. We've had him now for a couple of years. We tried like a year ago and then we kind of fell off because we got really busy. But this year we've been trying pretty actively the past, I'd say about four months. Today is December 10th, 2018. So we started in about October, so about three months. So since we've started, we haven't really tracked our cycle too much. Like we have, but we've been using an app and we've been kind of trying to pinpoint it and see how it goes. The more and more we read about it, the more we find out that we need to track our cycle a whole lot better. Um, so from watching a couple of other people's videos, and this is why I'm documenting mine, um, this is what we've learned. So I'm gonna give you the first few things of what we've learned and we're gonna see if we can have a successful insemination within the next couple of months here, hopefully this month. So here we go. Okay, so first things first. Here is a package that I ordered on eBay and it comes with a syringe in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a syringe right there. And this is also, um, this white part that's right here is also uh, an attachment to the syringe, which we don't use. We just use the syringe. And then this right here is the soft cup. And funny story, we did not know how that worked at first until I watched a YouTube video. So if you need to know how to use a soft cup, Google it. YouTube video will come up. And then this is 10 tests. It's seven ovulation and three pregnancy tests um we kind of don't like these because we don't feel like they're very accurate but this is what we have we purchased about five of these and for the five it was about 60 bucks so not only did we get that as we learned more we had to get more sterile cuts so we ordered these on amazon these were actually really cheap only about 10 bucks for 24 or something like that so that's easy to come by those donor cups are for your those sterile cups are for your donor to give a donation i recently watched a vlog and the vlog said to use this we have not used that but we will try this upcoming cycle so we are now tracking um both of us because we are inseminating both of us. We're hoping it will take with one of us. Before we were just using a flow chart and kind of our start date and now we're gonna try to use this which is the ovulation test and track each day. So today is December 10th. I checked it at 7 30 and it was negative and it's day eight of my cycle. So your first day of your cycle is the first day of your period and then you count from there and people's cycle, cycles are different. I think I have about a 30 day cycle. My girlfriend has about a 28 day cycle. So that's where we're at with that. Okay, so the first couple times that we did the insemination, uh, well last month uh, in November, we thought we, thought we had it because uh, we kind of tested and we kind of went off of the app. It was not as much as we should have though we've learned that you really really have to watch it because women only have a 20 percent chance each month of getting pregnant so it's really hard to do and you have to really track your cycle and know when you're ovulating but anyways what i wanted to say was when you do start tracking when you do start inseminating try not to be dis disappointed the anticipation is so real and um yeah, I was really anticipating this last time and then I started and that was it and I was kind of disappointed. And I think that's probably going to happen every time. 
especially the more you track it. Uh, but we're hoping to catch it right on within the next month or two. So stay tuned. Um, we'll officially start vlogging it starting from this cycle in December and we'll call this insemination one even though it's like October, November, December. It is actually insemination three. So we're going to try it because this is where we're going to track everything to try to make it work. Now it's kind of hard because we both have to track and it's hard but I'm going to be done with school so I'll have more time to track. I'll probably starting uh, next week or at the end of this week test myself two times a day for ovulation and then go from there. So stay tuned, keep watching.